Hi friends, my name is Tris, and this is No Boilerplate, focusing on fast, technical videos. Rust is a very new language. Existing CI and production pipelines are ill-suited to it, and don't take advantage of its superpowers. Rust's type system is so powerful, you can encode your infrastructure inside it. The dream of infrastructure from code, no YAML, no Terraform, just pure Rust, validated by your local compiler, is possible. And it's a technique you can use with Shuttle.rs, who are both subject and sponsor of today's video. Everything you see in this video, from the script to the images, are part of a Markdown document available on GitHub under a public domain license. Shuttle is a Y Combinator-backed company that I first heard of last year on Hacker News. I was impressed by what I saw. Think Heroku, but with an actual free tier, or like Vercel for backends. No YAML, no Terraform, just pure Rust. If you need some infra, you can just have it. It's quite an impressive claim. Let's try it out. To get up and running fast, we're going to follow the five-part Shuttle quick start in the first half of this video. Logging into Shuttle using GitHub, generating an API key, and deploying a Hello World app. Assuming you've installed Rust from rustup.rs, installing Shuttle is easy, as there is a binary install for it. If you're not familiar with Cargo Binstall, it is a wrapper around Cargo Install that checks GitHub releases and a few other sensible places for pre-built binaries for your version and architecture. This cuts down install time to seconds. If there isn't a matching binary for your system, it falls back to compiling as normal. There will be for Shuttle, as Shuttle even build binaries for my weird setup, Asahi Linux running on Apple Silicon. Let's get a Hello World working quickly. At time of recording, Shuttle supports Axum, Poise, Poem, Rocket, Salvo, Serenity, Tide Thruster, Tower, and Warp frameworks. We'll make a simple Axum project today. Shuttle has a setup wizard to start a new template project so you can get to Hello World with no code. Initial completion, as always with Rust, is slower, but subsequent builds are fast. 2.5 minutes for initial and 40 seconds for subsequent deploys I saw in my tests while making this video. Well, that was easy. We've got a Hello World with a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate up on the internet without any code so far. What else can we do with Shuttle? Over at Shuttle, they are not shy about their dedication to Rust, which I love to see. Rust is different. That's the point. We need different CI tools. They say you can get a database by just asking for one. Let's see what that looks like. Here is the structure of our main Axum entry point that Shuttle Init created. The only change to vanilla Axum is the return value, which uses the wrapped Shuttle Axum value for the Axum router. I'll demo you all the code in a moment, but I want to highlight how easy it is to request a database from Shuttle. In the second code block, I've added a new param to the main function, which is a SQLX PG pool struct. Normally, we'd have to create this Postgres pool manually ourselves with a database URI or similar. The Shuttle provided Postgres annotation here builds this pool for us with sensible defaults. Now, either locally or when built on Shuttle's servers, your code will be passed a valid connection pool connected transparently in dev to a local Shuttle managed Docker database. You only need Docker installed. If you would like to manage your own dev database, you can configure that too by passing in a local URI. Here's the output from Cargo Shuttle Run. You can see the database is connected, extra plugins like the static plugin here, and then the output from the server log. Let's talk about some of Shuttle's impressive features. There are three main databases Shuttle supports at time of recording, AWS integration and two native Shuttle methods, SharedDB and Persist. SharedDB uses a large database that Shuttle provides for you, shared with other users. You get your own private section of the database, but the server is managed by Shuttle. Persist is interesting and deserves a demo. Here's a simple rocket.rs demo of Shuttle Persist. The Persist struct that is passed in inside our MyState wrapper can load and save any SERDI serializable struct transparently. Behind the scenes, Shuttle have told me that this is implemented with a persistent Docker volume attached to your project. This is a genius simple persistence option for when managing a database is overkill. Shuttle have created a quick start template requiring just Node and Rust to be installed for a full stack app. You run the npx create shuttle app command, and a new project gets initialized which contains shuttle, axum and other dependencies installed, a static folder with a next.js app inside, and all relevant code required to instantly deploy the full stack app with npm run deploy, which uses cargo shuttle deploy behind the scenes. Let's talk more about shuttle the service. As you would hope, Shuttle managed their development on GitHub, and based on their response to an issue I filed while writing this video, they're very responsive to contribution. Do star the project on GitHub, it really helps them out. Support and community organization is over on their Discord, where I immediately found some old friends, which was a delight. They are also just starting an education newsletter called Shuttle Launchpad, 
The main idea behind it is to provide users with bite-sized tutorials, guides, and resources on their path to learning the Rust web. This is extremely new, so sign up if you'd like to learn more. A hello world is all very well, but let's build something with persistence, showing how to use the shuttle infrastructure from code principles. Step one, as always, is our data model. The full demo in Shuttle's example projects support both saving and loading to-dos, but we're just gonna read from the DB in the short example today. Imagine we have a database full of these objects already. Deriving from Serialize and from Row provide our ORM mapping using SQLX, powered by the great Serdi. Now let's look at the main function here. You can learn a lot about a Rust function from its signature. Let's focus on that. This first line annotates the Shuttle entry point. This macro expands differently depending on if it is built on your dev machine or Shuttle's build system handling the differences in environment transparently. Next is Shuttle's Postgres pool, generated at compile time by Shuttle's Postgres annotation here. This sets up everything you need to supply the pool using Docker on your local machine or connecting to a real database if built on Shuttle. Next is a clever workaround for deployment differences. Serving static files is very different from how you might have experienced in other languages, where we might have them served by a front end like Nginx or another proxy. This is less important in Rust, as it is not only possible, but easy to get the same or better performance than these traditional frontends with native Rust. Shuttle's static folder annotation makes it just as easy to serve files in local development as on their server, where folder structure may be very different. Finally, the Axum router is converted into a Shuttle compatible struct ready for serving. Here is the body of the main function, setting up the Axum router with two endpoints, our to-dos list, and static files inside a disk directory served from the root. This could be where our frontend app written in a JavaScript or WebAssembly framework could live. Note the router.into line, hooking into the from trait for the shuttle axum return value. Finally, here's our single controller function. This is the handler mounted at slash to-dos in our little demo app. Because we've wired up shuttle's Postgres pool into our app, every handler function is given a state struct with our Postgres pool inside. This is how state works in functional languages. The state is passed from trunk to leaf, passing down the function tree. The handler returns a simple string representation of the to-dos in our database. If we wanted, we could build a richer HTML representation or even JSON to be consumed by a front-end. Note we're using SQLX's fantastic query as macro to validate that SQL query on our actual database at compile time. I've raved about how you can't get this real-world schema and query validation anywhere else in other videos. Check them out for more details. But what if you don't want to run a local dev database, or you're running in an environment like CI or GitHub Actions where the database isn't available? SQLX has an offline feature, which is lovely. Let me show you how to use it. Running Cargo SQLX Prepare builds this little JSON file that you can check into your project that contains the valid schema and queries of your database. If the file exists, SQLX transparently uses it instead of connecting to the DB. You should always try to use a real DB where possible, but this is a smart escape hatch. I'll finish up with an exclusive look at the future of Shuttle. Shuttle's pace of development is very fast, and they have shared with me some extremely promising upcoming features. Shuttle is currently still in alpha. Paper cuts and stability issues, among other things, are somewhat expected. They are planning to hit beta this summer with new features and a step towards being able to support production-ready apps. In a few weeks, Shuttle plan on releasing a web console to allow you to visualize and manage projects, resources, blogs, and so forth. This will expose the details that are already available on the command line, but in an alternative way. You know I love the command line, but I also love options. Another extremely new project is Shuttle Next. Next is a batteries included WASM based backend web framework based on Axum and Hyper, but with the isolation and built in containerization of WebAssembly. WASM is the lightest container format we have, and we're starting to see it used more and more on the server, as Shuttle are doing here, as a replacement for Docker and Kubernetes. Shuttle Next is available for very pre-alpha testing and feedback. At the moment, the only resource available is an HTTP stream to and from your project. Shuttle's roadmap for the rest of the year contains horizontal scaling, additional DBs like Memcache, Dynamo, and Turso, multi-service networking, AWS Lambda, S3, and CloudFront, and EBS storage for persistent services. Shuttle have a couple of events coming up, such as a workshop on the 14th of June that combines Next.js, Rust, and interacting with GPT. Go check them out at shuttle.rs. My thanks to Shuttle for their support of this channel. If you would like to support my channel, get early ad-free and tracking-free videos and VIP Discord access, head to patreon.com forward slash noboilerplate. If you're interested in transhumanism and hope punk stories, please check out my sci-fi podcast, Lost Terminal. Or if urban fantasy is more your bag, do listen to a strange and beautiful podcast I produce called Modem Prometheus. Transcripts and compile check markdown source code are available on GitHub, links in the description, and corrections are in the pinned errata comment. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you on Discord.